going on a little wandering. We're gonna go on a little wandering. It's a little spot. Do a little five minute meditation. And I'm gonna call this is gonna be one of our self guided. And the reason why I say self guided is because you do not need to have any masters in your life. Your focus is learning to become your own master. And that is the meaning of being conscious. And consciousness is to master our own mind. We are past the, the time of spirits. And we are now in the point of time that's mind. We are now in the point of time called mind. Here's a nice little spot. Do a five minute meditation. Okay? And this is how we begin to master our mind. When you can master and control your breathing, you can master and control your world in any circumstance, in any condition. I've had to master my mind on numerous occasions at the most dire times where people would have taken medication, where people would have folded under stress and pressure. I went back to the same basic principles that in breath we have life. And if we have life, we have a chance to conquer anything. Because within life, all things are possible. So, in the times of my most dire experiences of stress or illness, I first take that breath because that is how we obtain control. Take a deep breath in, hold it five seconds, and slowly release. Taking in these breaths consciously, being aware of each breath is how you take the illusion of control back in one's life. Take a deep breath in. Take it in real deep. I want you to take it in from your abdomen all around there where the kidneys and the liver are and open it up. Hold it five seconds and slowly release. Take another deep breath in. This time I want you to think on the inhale, I'm calm. I'm calm. This time it's through the chest, opening up the diaphragm and slowly release. I'm relaxed. Take a deep breath in. Hold it five seconds. Slowly release. I'm relaxed. Take another deep breath in. I'm calm. Hold it five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly relax. I'm relaxed. Each self-guided deep breath in awareness. You are opening up your cells, your cell membranes, which have cell memory. For all your ancestors, going way back to your great-great-grandfather, great-great-grandmother, where that DNA connects them to now, here. They are living in each breath that you breathe. It is because of you that they are here. And then knowing that, that that is the unbroken thread of your DNA, they see life through you. They see life through you. And so when we breathe and we take the conscious breath, the focused and awareness breath. I'm calm. I'm relaxed. I take a deep breath in. Slowly release it. When you take that breath, you are taking in the breath of all life before you and all life around you. Even in 200 and 300 year old trees. And this 300-year-old tree 
300 year old tree you are taking in the life take a deep breath in hold it five seconds think of your happiest thought your most happiest thought your happiest thought your most safe thought and slowly release that thought and give it back take a deep breath in think of your most safe secure safe securest thought your warmest thought hold it five seconds and release that thought back to the universe take a deep breath in hold it deep deep take it in pull it in your most loving thought and slowly release give it back life is like a push and a pull a give and a take the universe doesn't know negative or positive good or bad it only knows balance so when you inhale take it in deep breathe it in that's for your ancestors all the love all the what they pass through to you and then you slowly release let it out at this level of molecular health this is where we find our healing our self-healing this is how we repair DNA on a molecular level each oxidative phase each breath of oxygen that we bring in we take it in and then we release any radicals or stressors stress on the mitochondrial whether it's an environmental stress or psychological stress or self-inflicted stress by the things that we think about ourselves these stresses will kill you faster than any disease quicker HIV may take 10 20 years you could have a stress and be out in 30 seconds from a stroke a heart attack or driving impaired or doing something reckless like unprotected sex the things that you do tell yourselves every day I love you I'm here for you I got your back so when we do things like reckless behavior whether it's reckless driving alcohol driving driving drunk unprotected sex is the same as driving drunk or giving a child an unloaded gun when we do these things we tell our cell body I'm not here for you and then when we get ill we want our cell bodies to be there for us remember life is give and take when you're there for your cell bodies and the actions the behaviors the things you do then your cell bodies will be there for you so whether you're worried or stressed and anxious over the next thing that you should eat if it's a whole food you know meaning it's not packaged it's not processed it's not alcohol it's not drugs you know when I say drugs I mean the things that are synthetics that you put in your body that you put in your mind when you put those things in you tell your cell membranes that I'm not going to be there for the for you for yourself and then when time comes they're not going to be there for you but if you take those deep breaths in awareness that you do have control in your life you will find that your life will be there for you when you need it your cell life take a deep breath in as deep as you can go deep baby this opens up the cell membrane opens it up slowly release on your inhale think your happiest thought on your exhale release that thought it only takes five minutes throughout your day to meditate to listen to listen to your surroundings to listen to within you have all the answers for your life I've been a behavioral scientist 30 years and I can tell you this now there's nothing about your life that I could ever know that you don't know more better and I mean right down to your first experience of remembering the first memory in your life what happens is people get stuck on the traumas because they choose to because remember life is give and take we take in things and then we let it go each breath you can't hold that breath and in breathing you're going to become more conscious and aware that with each breath that you take in there's another part the second part is let it go and so as a behaviorist I can honestly say 
that the problems and pe that people have in their life and stressors and not being able to adapt are because they forget the part where we took it in. Now let it go. Now let it go. Breathe, baby. I often find myself even doing my own life stressors. A car almost ran into us. I take a deep breath in and then I let it go because you don't want to hold any stressors. Whether it's from 20 years ago, 50% of the things that you remember, you don't even remember 50% of it as it actually happened. Remember that, okay? So a lot of the traumas that you all are having, you don't even remember them as they actually happened. So remember, take a deep breath in, slowly relax, and let it go. That's your life. All right, work on those. Take care. Peace out.